Hello, hello, and welcome to Date Almost Anything. So, I feel like we should know at this point that I'm a dating sim kind of person. Play a lot of uh, Otome games. So, why not play Date Almost Anything Simulator? I remember watching a video about it a long time ago, and I remember basically nothing. And then I looked at the, um, the page description to see if there was any description on what the game is, and it literally just said, not a serious game. So that's promising. So let's see. Let us start. I hate quotations. Tell me what you know. Ralph W. Emerson. Whew, I barely made it in time for my first day at work. Oh, whoa. Now where's my name tag? Ooh, woo. <laughs> I'll stop that right now. I'm not doing that. My name is Emma. Aha, gotcha. Who knew? This was me the whole time. You guys just you guys just never knew this was me the whole time. I've got the, the hentai bangs. Can't see my eyes. It's all there. Hey Emma, what's up? Oh my my name's not capitalized? Oh shoosh, did I forget that? Ready to make some coffee? Grace and I have been besties. Ugh, besties since grade school. Thanks to her support and encouragement, I was able to get this job. Ooh, nepotism. Still nervous? Relax, you'll do great. When a customer orders a drink, all you have to do is follow the recipe. Here, let's practice. Make me a tall hot chocolate. Ooh, I want hot chocolate. Tall hot chocolate is chocolate steamed milk in none? Tall chocolate steamed milk none. Sweet, let's see how you did. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's delicious, Emma. I'm so proud of you. Thanks, Grace. You really helped me get this job and you're really encouraging me. You totally got this. Let's get the show started. Why is there a doorbell at this cafe? Because that is not, I'm pretty sure that's not the sound of like the, the door opening at cafes. Here comes our customer. Because I know there's like that thing that sometimes comes from it, but that's not it. Hi, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you? I would like a, a, a regular black coffee. No sugar or cream or anything. You live... You live a sad, sad life, man. First customer, sir, you live... I cannot judge. I'm judging internally, though. Certainly, what size would you like? Tall, grande, or venti? Oh, why is this so complicated? All I want is a stupid cup of coffee. I'm guessing it's like a, a small, medium, large. This is uh, really stressful. I should I should have made coffee at home. Uh, I would like the large venti, please. Will that be all? Y yeah. That'll be a uh, 365, please. Cheap. That's pretty cheap. Holy cow, it's so expensive. I could have made my own for way cheaper. I feel like that's cheap compared to today. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't drink coffee that much. Leaving the house was a mistake. Thank you very much. May I have your name? It's Sheldon. Thank you. We will call you when your order is ready. You guys notice this? Grace's name is the only one with a capital letter so far. Okay, I'm gonna go for it. One venti black coffee. Uh, dark roast and sadness. Dark roast and only sadness. Done already? Sheldon, your drink is ready. Here you go. One venti black coffee, no cream, sugar, or milk. And all the sadness in the world. Because it's so bitter. Like you. Hmm. Hmm, not bad. Thanks. Wow, Emma, great work. I know, right? Are you guys going to give me a raise? You want to give me a raise? <laughs> On to the next customer. Bing bong. Hi, welcome to Stirbox. What can I do for you today? Good morning, miss. Lovely day, isn't it? Sure is, ma'am, sir, ma'am. Are you ready to order? I am. A grande cappuccino would be wonderful. Okay, that's one grande cappuccino. Will that be all? Yes, ma'am. 4.45, please. Oh, dear. I only have a 10. I'll take the 10. I'll take the 10. Please give me the 10. I'll take your money. Please keep the change. Yes, thank you. I will make you the greatest, um, what was it? A grande cappuccino you've ever had. 
So that's very generous of you, but don't worry about it. I've got money bags. Pocket change is quite burdensome to carry. Uh, thank, thank you. May I have your name? Zane. Pleasure to meet you, Grace. See, Zane's name is capitalized. Is it only for the pretty people? Am I not pretty enough for this, huh? Same to you, sir. We will call you when your drink is ready. This is some game bias. Okay, this is some game bias. Gosh, what a nice man. I still feel kind of bad about taking his money, though. I don't. As long as I give him that good service. Anyway, enough talk. It's time to shine. One grande cappuccino. Espresso steamed milk foam milk. Okay. Espresso steamed milk foamed milk. How does... I don't know. I'm not gonna think too much about it. I'm just a worker. Awesome, you're getting better already. Saying your drink is ready. Here's you goes. One's a ca ronde cappuccino. Thank you very much. It tastes wonderful. Please thank the other barista for me as well. Oh, wow, Emma. It looks like you're getting the hang of it. I sure am. On to the next customer. Yeah, that's just a doorbell. Hello, welcome to Starbucks. What can I get for you today? What if this is Grace's home? What if this is more nepotism? Ah, uh, there's so many delicious drinks to choose from. Mmm, <laughs> I don't know where to start, OTL. What is OTL? On the line. Over the line. On top, lord. No rush, sir. I'll take your order when you're ready. Mmm. Um. May I have a tall latte, please? <laughs> okay, that's one tall latte. Anything else? Wow, there's cakes and pastries, too. <gasps> mm, too bad I don't have the money for it. <laughs> How do you speak with emojis? How are you speaking with emojis? Nope, that's it for me, OTL. Uh, obviously, the, 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 the lap. Obviously, the lap. That'll be three ninety five. May I have your name? Ah, I go by Sammy. <laughs> thank you so much, Sammy. We will call you when your order is ready. Ah, uh, thank you. <laughs> you know the drill by now. One tall latte. Uh, tall latte, espresso, chocolate, steamed milk. Tall espresso, chocolate, steamed milk. Here you go. One tall latte. Ah. <sighs> Thank you so much, Lou. Wow, Emma, you're on fire today. I have some solid memory skills if it's short term. And that's about it, ma'am. On to the next customer. After serving some more customers, the morning rush was over. Grace thanked me for my help. She said it was nice knowing that I'd got her back. <laughs> you know it, ma'am. She advised me to take a break and look around the place. Where should I go? Hmm. I I think I don't really like going to pee in public, so outside or stay inside? I'd probably go outside, because it's kind of stuffy. Since I was in such a hurry to get to work, I didn't get a good look at the outside of the cafe. The cool wind and fresh air feels great after spending hours inside this small stuffy shop, see? Told you it was stuffy. There's a lot of people in there, so it's all moist. The streets were peaceful with an occasional pedestrian milling around the storefronts. Mmm, let's look around some more. I wonder what's on the other side of the corner. <gasps> Ack! Oh my god, scandalous! Caught off guard. I trip on my own foot and tumble forward. It's like the, the, the cliche. They meet at the corner. Oh my, but he catches my arm and lowers me into a graceful dip. Oh my! S superb! <laughs> oh no, I'm so sorry ma'am. Are you alright? Yeah, sorry, uh, I should have watched where I was going. How embarrassing of me. I must have startled you. You sure did, sir. I get startled easily. How could you do this to me? So, like, is he just gonna pretend he didn't dip me in front of all these people? Right? I forgot that happened. <laughs> Short-term memory be damned. Does he do this on a regular basis? Say, you look rather familiar. Were you the barista who made my coffee? Um, yeah, that's that's me. Ah, oh, I see. A destined reunion. Mmm. Mmm. That's kind of sketch, sir. 
How fitting. My memory falls me. What is your name again? I'm Emma. Nice to meet you. I never told you my name anyway. I was like dead silent in the background. Likewise, Emma. Say, do you believe in fate? Not really? <laughs> what? Okay. Okay. Let me imagine this. I'm running around because I'm bored. I run into a person in the corner. They dip me. They dip me. They elbow slam me into the floor. And then they ask me, Dear lady, do you believe in fate? And then me, being hard of hearing, would go, What? What is this guy's deal? One second he's dipping me, now he's blabbering on about fate. Sorry, I don't follow? Yeah, where'd you come from? No worries, I understand. Sometimes my thoughts are like happiness, intangible and fleeting. You believe it will last forever, but... No, you believe it will last for ever, but it is always gone too soon. Like a lover at a train station. I don't... How am I supposed to feel? How does that feel? Oh dear, I'm going off on a tangent again, aren't I? Apologies, Emma. Have a good day. See, it's unfair. And I also don't want to get with this man who has a capital letter in his name when I do not. I feel wrong. I feel like I would not be respected because my name has a lowercase letter. Well, that was interesting. I guess I should head back inside. My break ends and I continue working behind the counter. Before I know it, the sun is setting, signaling the end of my shift. Days turn to weeks and weeks turn to months. Same place, same time, same motions. Everything is the same, yet ever-changing. The world does not sit still for a nameless girl. Day in, day out, faces pass, people go. The voices mingle like milk and sugar. See, at least that's happiness, though, unlike some Sheldon dude. At least his name isn't capitalized. The features meld together like coffee and cream. Once you've met one, you've met them all. But nothing is ever quite the same. Except one constant. You. Thank you, I think. Is that a compliment? The world moves on, yet you seem oblivious to the rising and falling of waves, the growth and decay of foliage, the birth and death of life. Eyes closed or eyes open, it makes no difference to you. You simply exist. You are content. Honestly, I am. That was a scary noise. Storyland by me. Coding, coding, character design, background photography, oof, 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 oof. Music, oof, 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 oof. Sound effects, oof, oof. Uh, thank God for the royalty-free <laughs> sound stock channels on YouTube. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Thank you. Wait a minute. Why are you still here? More importantly, how did you get here? This is a dating sim, right? Shouldn't you, like, end up with one of the characters or something? Well, I did, but he kind of he kind of gave me the weird vibes. So how is it possible that you still ended up without a date? Seriously, I gotta applaud your effort. Look, I've also played my hand of dating sims, okay, sir narrator? And I would like to say, I don't gotta end up with someone. You can get the harem ended. <laughs> Or, or, you can just die. That happens sometimes, too. It takes skill to end up single in a dating sim where you're supposed to date people. I gave you, like, four characters to date. Who was it? Was it Grace? Was Grace one of them, actually? Hmm. And you blew it with every single one of them. Somehow. Okay, I'll admit, I'm a little offended. I spent effort making this game. Cool, and I spent effort? A little bit. Not really that much. Playing this game. Writing the story. I respect your story. He dipped me. And I got feelings from that. So I respect it. Drawing this art. Your art's good! Composing this music. The music is... Good? Sorry, I'm trying to remember the music. It was okay! Aren't you gonna appreciate the masterful storyline I crafted for you? Mm. Yeah. I like to go in these things, believing who I am, you know, you know? So I always have to go the first run based on instinct, rather than- and then, and then all the other runs I use walkthroughs, but we don't talk about that. 
go on, play the game like it's meant to be. I'll even walk you through the process. First, navigate to the heart on the bottom of your screen. Click the rightmost item, which consists of two gear-looking shapes stacked on top of each other. Wow. They are gear-looking shapes. It'll take you to the preference panel where you can choose to load a previous save or restart. Got it? Good. I'll wait. Waiting? 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 Yeah, keep waiting. Hmm. Maybe that was too complicated for you. Yeah, my brain? Very small. Very small-brained. You should see me try puzzle games. Very bad. Let's try a simpler method. First, locate the right mouse button on your mouse. Hmm. L? Not L. Right is this one. Okay, it's on this side. Next, press down firmly on the right mouse button. Whoop! This should take you to the preference page in which you will see the option main menu. Click on that to go to the start of the game. Got it? Good. I'll wait. Once again, waiting. 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 Wait it. Okay, you know what? I'll, I'll make this easier for you. I'm gonna put not one, but two, not two, but three buttons on screen that'll take you back to the beginning. Cause you're too lazy to do it yourself. No. Yeah, you caught me, honestly. <laughs> but what if I, what if I just, You gonna do anything? Yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, these are some nice buttons, man. What's this do? I don't know. I don't. Oh my god, you're gonna put three buttons? Whoa, whoa. Okay, um. Yeah, I don't wanna use your method. I'll just chill here for a little bit. I need to drink my water anyway, you know? Hydration is key or something. I, okay, I'm done. Let's jump to start, but I'm not gonna do what they want. I didn't save anything, so. It's called the big skip. Okay. We're going to, hmm. What if we, well, I'd still wanna go outside, right? And then I'll go, go. Let's do this quality save thing, you know? Let's do that save thing. And then I'll go inside. I hunt for a place to sit down in the small cafe, but every seat's taken. Well, almost every seat. Uh, take the seat. The only open seat is the one directly across from Sheldon, the first customer. He's capitalized now. Oh my god, he's been promoted. He's busily typing away on his laptop, looking super focused. Doesn't even bother looking up when I approach him. Excuse me, may I sit here, sir? Huh? Sure, go ahead. Uh-huh, uh-huh, uh-huh. So, um... Yeah. Hmm. Uh, I'm not gonna talk to you. Like, I don't know you. <laughs> we can just chill here. This is great. I love silence. I'll just listen to the people around me. My break ends and I continue working behind the counter. And then... Fine. Let's, uh, go inside. Okay, okay, okay. And then let's go pee! I turn left down the hall and step inside the woman's restroom. Dang, nice shit. I'll wash my hands, because I just went to the bathroom. With soap, unlike some nasty people who don't wash their hands at all. Seriously, wash your hands when you use the bathroom. This has been a PSA. And then, uh... Okay. If I'm stuffy... No, it depends. Is anyone else in this restroom? Looking at it now, this is a, a single restroom. So that means that there's no stalls. This is just one restroom inside a place. Am I... I might wash my face just because I'm feeling sweaty as hell. So... And then I'll wipe it on my shirt and I'll go on with my day. And then I'll put a jacket over it so no one sees, sees the wet stains on my shirt. <laughs> I put my hands together and splash my face with cool water. The cold liquid refreshes my mind and washes my fatigue away. 
I turn around to see who walks in on the bathroom. Uh, is it? Is this, isn't this the third customer? Did you not see occupied? I'm, I'm, I, I didn't even have a chance to like hide my shirt yet. Did you not? Okay. This is the ladies room. What's he doing here? I'd say something. Excuse me, sir. This is the woman's restroom. Hmm. Why are you blushing? Uh, sir. I think you're in the the wrong bathroom. Um. Actually, I am. Uh, I'm not in the wrong bathroom. This is the woman's room, right? I'm a woman. I belong here. <laughs> Just deny their whole existence right now. Oh no. Oh uh, no. It's my bad. I'm- I'm so sorry, ma'am. I didn't know. Please, take your- take your bathroom time or whatever. Uh, thanks. C cry- cry- crying- crying emoji. Well, that was interesting. I think I'll head back. And then I do- Oh! Don't call out to me. I want to see the narrator again. Don't call out to me. Hey ya. Oh, cute though. Sammy has become a regular customer at the coffee shop. She comes here often every Saturday during my break, and we hang out and chat. So, what's new? Ah, I got my first dress. <laughs> wow, it looks great. The color suits you. It really do though. It really do. I don't get how your shoulders do the swoopy thing though, but I guess they're just strong shoulders. Oh, thank you. At first I was scared to buy it, but the sales clerk was really helpful. The checkout worker gave me some weird looks, though. Hmm. But it's okay, because it was totally worth it. Honestly, I'm so proud of myself. Good job. As an as a underpaid barista worker, good job. <laughs> I don't think I've been brave enough to do that before. Anyway, how are you doing? Uh, Sammy? There's something I want to ask you. Girl, girl, calm down. G girl, 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 calm down. Miss me, girl, calm down. What happened to- what happened to meeting the narrator again? Hmm? The narrator! I'll miss you! I like you a lot. Oh, I- I like you too? Will you be my- The option. You want to be my friend? Ah, <laughs> oh, sorry. You were really serious for a second. I got surprised and thought you were going to ask something else. But I thought we were already friends. I mean, we talk all the time and I like spending time with you. Isn't that what makes us friends? Anyway, thanks for confirming. Now I know we're friends for sure. But you didn't download this game to make friends, did you? Don't fourth wall break me now, Sammy. Sammy, stop it. Stop it, Sammy. Stop it. Dude, the end sound is so scary. <sighs> okay, guys. I'm past the orders, so we're just gonna go through and we're we're gonna give Sammy what they want! We're gonna give Sammy what they want! Alright! Okay! Ah! I'll, I'll- I'll say something, and I'll be like, oh, my bad. And then I'll be like, wait, And then I'll confess properly! Oh, um... I- What? Wait, wait, hold it right there. I told you it was too fast! I told you! You can't ask her out. You barely even know her. This isn't supposed to be a realistic game or anything, but like, come on. It makes no sense. Like, cause you made her coffee and walked into her use in the bathroom, she's obliged to date you? No, 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 no. You're getting things mixed up here. She walked into me using the bathroom. So, like, I don't know, man. I didn't, I, I was just trying to help the game continue, you know? Nah, buddy. You gotta earn it. How did you get- How did you get to this part of the game? You took initiative. 
You had options to run, to go in circles, to be a bad person. I already ran and went in circles. I haven't been a bad person yet, though. Thanks for the, the option, though. You know? But you didn't. You persevered. This is a video game, though. You can do the right thing with a click of a button. Minimal effort, easy peasy, don't even have to think about it. Shame real life doesn't work like that, or else I'd probably be rich and famous and not on my ass coding a dating sim. I mean, you're part of this too, sitting there with your mouth open, staring at the computer. As I speak, yes, I definitely am. You're wasting your time on a game called Date Almost Anything Simulator. For Christ's sake, this is almost as pathetic as the dumbass who decided to make it. Oi. You wait just a second. You can badmouth yourself, but I will not allow you to badmouth me, okay? Don't you have something better to do? Not really. It's like summer. Do your work, finish your chores, clean your room? I don't want to clean my room. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Car carpe diem? What is a carpe diem? Better yet, when was the last time you started a conversation with a stranger? Made someone coffee? Take initiative in your own life? Not just a video game? Look, I can't talk to strangers reasonably. Mommy said never to talk to strangers. And also, I am really bad at talking to people. Stop calling me out. Badmouth yourself, bad yourself instead. Do something, anything. Eat some food, drink some water, take a walk. Buy the next person in line a coffee. I'll drink some water. I also already ate, so. I already did that, man. Hell, if you're really lazy, tell me about your day here. One click away, am I right? If you downloaded this game thinking it was a going to be funny, here's a real funny joke for you. Where's the joke? Oh wow, what a joke. This, this is a great joke. Ah, I missed it. You feel that? The panic you felt when you thought the game was broken? No. No, I was just waiting for the joke. <laughs> you think you got me? But I got you, man. I got you. I knew you were going to keep talking. You could have ended all that work to get- Oh, uh, you would have done all that work to get to the end and not even see the ending. What a waste of time. Which is exactly what I'm going to do right now. So yeah, I'm just gonna end the game here. One big build up to a goddamn nothing. I'm gonna leave you hanging. Let that sink in. I am. Okay, it's still sinking. So is the food in my stomach. And the water that's going down my throat. You seem disappointed. Not if you did this to me and I wanted to get to grace, maybe a little bit. But if it's literally anyone else, if you did this to me and I wanted to get to the narrator, no. Frustrated? Mm. Betrayed? Meh. I've played I've played games that that hack at me more. Still hopeful because you keep clicking that left mouse button. I know what left is. All these feelings are good. I want you to feel like this. Complain. Get mad. Rage quit. No. Don't play this game again. You think. Huh. Close this window. Delete the file. Turn off your computer and finish whatever you were doing before. Watching YouTube? <laughs> You'll probably never want to come back after what I just pulled. You know I'm coming back anyway. And I'm glad too because I want you to leave this game and never come back. But before you go, one last thing. Sammy loves you. <gasps> the build-up was worth it. <laughs> These are her words. My words. Whatever you decide to do after finishing this game, we'll be there for you. In spirit, I mean. I get it. Doing things is hard. I'm being lectured. <laughs> I am 100% being lectured. And they're not even wrong about it. They're not even wrong. Doing things is hard. <laughs> Living is hard. Too many distractions, too many pitfalls, too many things to do or be. Sammy and I are so proud of you for making it this far in life. Just like we're proud of you for making it this far in the game. This is our breakup letter to time wasters, instant gratification, and procrastination. This is our love letter to you. <gasps> 
feel so appreciated. I've never felt this way in my life. Where is this coming from? Why do I feel so... Why do I feel so joyous in my soul? Now get out of here and change the world. Oh my god, Sammy! <laughs> and that's the end of Date Almost Anything Simulator. Where I got a really motivational message. Uh, a really motivational message, which I'll totally adhere to. Bye-bye.